Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. Today, we're looking at a new software update I just got for my Model 3 right here, 2020.16.2.1. So let's jump right in and check it out. Huge thank you goes out to Akrama Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the All Electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. So let's jump right into these release notes. We see the Tesla toy box has now moved and we'll jump into that. We also have nearby charging sites when we can filter based on the rate of charge or how much juice it can put into the car. And then another dash cam improvement. So you can actually reformat the USB drive right from the car so you never have to take it out again because you can view and reformat right from the car. So I'll also show that in the video and backgammon improvements. Now I must admit I've never played backgammon. I may have played it once in a previous video, but just know that they are constantly improving all of these games and all of these new features. So backgammon is now has some improvements as well. And this looks like it is the last uh, main release. And here we have the previous release notes for this update. So here we can access the toy box and we have a beautiful new design that actually shows a graphic for emissions, tracks, romance, sketch pad. So this is really nice and looks really clean and really good here. And if you remember previously to get to the toy box initially, you would tap the T on the top of the screen here and now there is no menu where they would kind of bubble up. There are more hidden features, but this is definitely a better menu. Now, if we go into the nearby charger, so you can actually pick, okay, I want a fast charger or I'm looking for a slow charger. I'm not sure why you would be, but you can filter out those specific chargers versus just showing all the charging stations. Like if you're only looking for a fast charger, you can select the only high charger or there's three lightning bolts over there on the right hand side. So you can see you can scroll through and it'll show you by distance is how they're sorted. Now if we go into safety and security and then scroll down a bit to where the dash cam on honk was, we have a new option to format the USB device. And that allows us to format the USB. So if you're getting an error with your USB, you can format it right from the car, which is great. Now you don't have to do that in a computer. So let's take this new software for a little test drive here. And so we are approaching a stoplight. So I'm going to acknowledge that the light is green and we're gonna move forward. And you can see through this intersection, it's very smooth. I haven't noticed many huge improvements as far as staying in a lane through an intersection. Another intersection test is coming up. What I did notice though is how it's showing people and the people are actually walking. Previously, they only stood still. So it looks like Tesla's trying to get more data on people actually moving around the car, which is great and they're going to advanced FSD. You can see here the actual people moving on the center display with a gate, which is really cool and <laughs> definitely something that is great to see and shows you how advanced Tesla's autopilot is. Now, I did have the opportunity also to test another bicycle. Now, I have done this in the past in the previous video. This is not something new to this software update, but you can see that it is slowing down and staying behind this bike on this smaller two-lane road. Now, previously, Tesla's autopilot, if you would engage at a red light, it would go through the red light. Now, with this software update, and actually the last software update that didn't have any new release notes, so I didn't do a video on it, uh, these last two software updates, actually prevent you from acknowledging the light prior to the light turning green, which is a great added safety feature for the stoplight. So you can see here, I'm at a red light and I'm gonna press the accelerator. If you watch closely at the rear view camera on the right hand side of the screen right now, you're gonna see the car roll forward when I press the accelerator right here and the car is gonna roll forward and then it's gonna turn green. So it's gonna say, hey, use the accelerator to acknowledge a light, then the car is going to move through the intersection. Really excited to see this constant improvement from Tesla. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, 
share this video with a friend, and don't forget push, to push, hit push, that push, subscribe push button. button. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.